Hi, I'm Willa Sipple. And I'm Salafina Foreman. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. Recently, Northampton has welcomed a few families of refugees to the city. The Nugoi family is one of them who reunited here in February. We wanted to see what it was like adjusting to life in Northampton and see how the Nugois have created a community here. The Circle of Care, a few members of the community, have been helping the families and other refugee families adjust to life here. We sat down with former neighbor of the Nagoy family, Elena Champa, to talk about how she supported them in their transition. Um, basically, the Nagoy family moved in across the street from us, up here in Florence. Uh, we got to see them on, on a daily basis before the, all the Circle of Care people came. So basically, we just like touched base a little bit and um, spoke as much as we could, um, which was a little bit, but enough to find out what they needed and things like that. We have a lot of resources to share. And that, and, and people who are of the mindset to, to, to get that concept. And, you know, we're fine with too much. <laughs> so why don't we spread around what, what we have. We sat down with Lydia and Jean-Claude Nagoy to see how they have experienced life in Northampton and how their transition has been so far. A community and other people, yes, help me for many things to know here in the United States. Yeah. Bon, le futur, c'est pour gagner la vie. C'est pour gagner la vie quand même. Bon, nous sommes pas encore habitués ici en Amérique. Bon, on travaille, les enfants, on part à, à l'école comme d'habitude. Bon, ça ira petit à petit, peut-être. Le futur, ça sera donc pour ma famille. Quand j'ai été au Congo, j'ai terminé mes études à l'université au Congo. Bon, quand j'ai terminé le, le, mes études, j'ai commencé à travailler comme un professeur de comptabilité, management. Mm -hmm. Si je termine le... Bon, quand je, je commence à travailler, la guerre au Congo, ça commence. Et puis, on a fui les pays. On a parti jusqu'au Burundi. Quand j'arrivais au Burundi, j'ai continué d'enseigner mon, mon métier. Bon, pour moi, c'est très difficile parce que mon, mon document était difficile pour parler l'anglais. I take class for Center for New American. Yes, and then when I can learn more English, I can take class for GED. I wish to get my um, my diploma here because in my country I did not finish but I want to finish here and to go to college too. Right now there's an effort being made to get the PVTA bus to stop outside their home because they often have to rely on other community members for rides. Thanks for watching. This was Tell It Like It Is.